Buckle up, fight fans, because we got some wild breaking news for you. Francis Ngannou got into a brawl with Jake Paul backstage during the press conference of Ngannou's upcoming bout. It is reported that Francis Ngannou ran up to Paul backstage and caught him with a nasty blow on the chin. Yep, Jake went crashing down. The whole scene was pure chaos. And if it weren't for the security there, Jake Paul would have taken a long trip to the hospital. But the question stands, why did Francis Ngannou feel the need to just attack Paul in such a brutal fashion? I mean, we get it. The guy is a troll. But this seemed personal. And it was? There is one solid reason why Nanganu attacked Jake Paul. And for now, let's just say it has something to do with the one and only Mike Tyson. There's a lot of drama surrounding this, so without further ado, let's break it all down. Former UFC heavyweight champ Francis Nganu is gearing up for his MMA comeback with a debut in the Professional Fighters League this October returning to the cage after two big money boxing bouts. Nunganu is set to face 2023 PFL heavyweight champion Renan Ferreira in a pay-per-view super fight on October 19th. Now you're probably wondering what this has to do with Francis punching Jake Paul. Well, let's get on to that now. Jake Paul wasn't just shaking up boxing, he's taken over MMA too. In a game-changing move, Paul joined the Professional Fighters League as a fighter and part owner, bringing his star power and fresh energy to the octagon. He's not just here to fight. He's on a mission to elevate the sport. Make sure fighters get paid what they deserve. Yeah, huge shade on Dana White. And turn the PFL into a powerhouse. Jake Paul hosted the press conference for Francis Ngannou's showdown with Renan Ferreira. But he had no idea. Nganu had his sights set on more than just Ferreira in that room, and Jake Paul found that out the hard way. We'll be hosting today. I'm not used to this. I got one of these earpieces in. So far, they're just playing weird shit in there. Uh, but welcome to the Battle of the Giants press conference. We are so excited. This is going to be the biggest, the biggest heavyweight fight in MMA this year. We have. But out of everyone, why attack Paul? Well, now this is where Mike Tyson enters the beef. Jake Paul and Mike Tyson are set to fight each other in the ring this November 15th. Now it was all good until Jake Paul crossed a line in their most recent press conference. Jake Paul didn't really try to shove Mike Tyson, did he? The Mike Tyson? That move sent shockwaves through the fight world, and one person who wasn't having it was Francis Nganu. Here's why. Let's rewind to last October, when Nganu shattered expectations and broke the internet by humbling Tyson Fury in a pro boxing showdown. How did he pull off the impossible? By teaming up with none other than the heavyweight legend himself, Mike Tyson. Nganu, the reigning UFC heavyweight champ, found the perfect mentor in Tyson, who guided him to give Fury the toughest fight of his career. Mike Tyson wasn't just a trainer. He was the key to Nganu's success, making that showdown unforgettable. Tyson and Nganu forged a good friendship. It was all nothing but love and respect for each other. Because Siri, he punches long, and when he yeah. punches like that, and he likes, yeah, he like punches, this. So when he punches long, then you got those short punches to the side. Hit him around, and when he throws you around, that like, well, boom, and he raises, raises, hard punches to the body. Like when I watch it, that guy with the uppercut, he with the right uppercut, right? Uh, over there, over there. No, the uppercut, you're the guy with it. The left. Yeah, what did he hit him up? There's always good to lose your him here for it. Boom, boom. Francis Ngannou also appeared on Joe Rogan's podcast, 
where he showered praise on Mike Tyson. Naganu shared how he had idolized Tyson since childhood and expressed how much it meant to have the legendary fighter in his corner for his first major boxing match. <laughs> Asking that question makes me feel like you don't really understand. Like, I grew up idolizing Tyson, Mike Tyson. Yes. Right? Everybody did. Out of nowhere, a Disney star turned wannabe boxer who's been pulling the wool over everyone's eyes by knocking out retired MMA legends decided to cross the line. He actually had the nerve to shove the heavyweight legend Mike Tyson. Francis Ngannou wasn't about to let Jake Paul get away with such disrespect. And you bet he made sure Jake Paul didn't get off easy. Nganu, the baddest man on the planet, wasn't just there to promote his upcoming bout with Renan Ferreira. Oh no, he had some unfinished business with Jake Paul. The tension was so thick, you could cut it with a knife. Nganu's stare down with Paul was intense, and it wasn't long before things took a turn for the worse. <laughs> Chaos erupted as security and event staff rushed in to separate the fighters. Paul, looking stunned and a bit shaken, was swiftly escorted away by his team. Nganu, on the other hand, stood his ground, clearly fired up and not backing down. <laughs> to understand why Nganu's reaction was so explosive, you have to look at his career. Nganu's made a name for himself as one of the most feared strikers in MMA. His knockout power is legendary, and he's earned his place as a top fighter through hard work and dedication. On the other side, Jake Paul has built his name by taking on fighters who are past their prime or who don't fight in his weight class. His boxing career has been filled with controversy, and he's used every opportunity to build his brand and get attention. So when it came to a brawl, you just knew it was a nightmare for one of them. Jake Paul. Now, let's not forget the man of the hour, Renan Ferreira. He's the current PFL heavyweight champ and the one who'll be stepping into the cage with Inyanu. He was just as shocked as everyone. The buzz around Nganu vs. Ferreira has gone through the roof. With the added drama of Nganu's altercation with Jake Paul, the fight stakes are higher than ever. Fans are debating everything from the outcome of the fight to the impact of the Paul incident on Nanu's focus and preparation. Then I realized that um, that could be, should be a purpose for me. You know, like, I didn't have a chance to fight for my son, man. So I think this is it. Thank you, Francis. Appreciate that. And for Hennon, if we could, Hennon, obviously you've been thinking about this fight for a long time. It is official now. You've had a chance to size up, Francis. We're looking forward to this face-off here momentarily. But what are your initial impressions now that you see him face-to-face -face and what he offers you as an opponent? Ah, o Francis is é, é um grande atleta. Eu sempre acompanhei ele, os nocautos e tudo. É, pessoalmente, eu já sabia que, que ele era tudo isso, então... Eu tenho me preparado a vida toda para lutar com caras grandes, com caras é, 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 como ele. Então, assim, não me impressionou. Eu já sabia como que ele era. Look, Francis is a great athlete, and I've been following his career for a very long time, and I've been impressed by his career and, and his feats for a very long time. So, meeting him in person, it just came to solidify everything that I thought and I knew. He's a big man, he's got big power, and I'm excited for this fight. And lastly, Jake Paul had it coming. Originally, Jake Paul was set to face off against Mike Tyson in July. But things took a turn when Tyson suffered an ulcer flare-up during a flight from Miami to LA. At nearly 60, Tyson's health issues are no joke, and this setback forced him to withdraw from the bout. But instead of showing any respect for Tyson's situation, Jake Paul chose to mock the boxing legend. Talk about a low blow. All the people in my comments say, look at his power, he's gonna get KO'd. People are yelling at me in the event. But what happens when I put this man to sleep? This shit is not a joke. He's saying that it's gonna be my funeral. He's saying it's gonna be my rape. He's gonna kill Jake Paul, all of these things. And that's 
restaurant. I love Mike, I respect him, but we're not friends anymore until November 15th. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.